Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new episode of Throwback Thursday. Today we're going back to 2016 and opening up a hobby box of 2016 Topps Archives. Should be pretty awesome because I've never opened up this product before and I'm pretty excited to check these out today. I love the Archives releases from Topps. They always go back and they feature like three different years from historical Topps releases you can see in 2016 they were featuring 1979 tops 1953 tops and 1991 tops there's also two on card autographs in each and every hobby box which is what we've got right here and we're going to be looking for the crash davis autograph card from kevin costner from that movie bull dorm hopefully we can find that one hopefully we got some good stuff in here there's a lot of good rookies in this set i could i'm going to list off probably 10 decent rookies that we're going to be looking out for and a little bit later tonight, we're going to go live, and we have an entire case of 2016 Topps Archives ready to go. Um, so we'll be pulling 20 autos out of this tonight live on the channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. There's also a little bell there. If you tap that bell and click all, you'll get a notification in the YouTube app whenever I post a video or go live. So with that being said, let's get to ripping here and see what we can find. There's 300 cards in the base set of 2016 Topps Archives. There's also 10 short print cards at the end of the set. And there's some notable rookies in here. You can see one of them right there on the front of the box, Kyle Schwarber. And we'll also be looking for Corey Seager, his rookie card. Trey Turner's rookie, Gary Sanchez, Cattell Marte, Aaron Nola, Miguel Sano, Max Kepler, Luis Severino, Michael Conforto, Kent Maeda. I think that's 10. So those are the I think about the, the top 10 that I saw on the list. So let's see what we can find. 24 packs. Our sponsor today is James. James, thank you very much for participating in this break. If you'd like to sponsor a video like this one or participate in our case breaks, check us out on Patreon. It's $3 per month. And you also get exclusive videos that you can only see on the, that Patreon page. So I love the 1991 Tops design. Really, really cool stuff. So we have a Corey Kluber 79 tops design. Then we have a Brad Ziegler, Brandon Belt, Charlie Blackman 1953 with the big old beard right there. I wonder how Charlie's feeling right now with Nolan Arenado no longer on his team. There's Robin Yount. Like that card a lot. Corey Seager rookie card in the first pack. Very nice one. I don't think I've ever seen this card before. So, arguably, some people will probably rank that and put that at the top of the rookie card list. Corey Seager. Other people will probably pick Trey Turner. Um, but that's a nice one right there. Corey Seager rookie card, 1991 Topps design. And I love this picture of Cargo coming around the bases there at PNC Park, my home stadium. You can see the left field rotunda there. That's a great picture. Probably, I don't know, maybe a that sellout crowd you don't really see that too often probably like a saturday afternoon game who knows all right pack number two for james let's see what we could do for you there's a steven strasberg 53 design tom murphy rookie card tom siever nice one right there he's a hall of famer of course burt bly 11 another hall of famer and there's our first look at a bull dorm card they used the 1988 tops design it's a nuke lelouch Check out the back of the card. Million dollar arm, 10 cent head. Whether he's nailing the bull mascot with a wayward pitch or discussing the finer points of interview strategy with his mentor, Nuke, who's Tim Robbins, is both uber talented and goofily hilarious. His fastball soon earns him a call to the show. Pretty cool stuff. I like how Archives does that with the movies every now and then. It's a nice Andrew McCutcheon. As you know, in uh, I think it was 2018 archives, which featured the Sandlot, and I was tossing it back to, with the 1962 Topps design. That was a nice one. There's a Greg Bird rookie card. He's kind of falling off the face of the earth. But this guy, despite injury, he'll be back soon. Luis Severino. I like that one a lot. I put that in my top 10 rookie cards from this set. There's a Jim Palmer 79. Look at that hair on Palmer right there. Cattell Marte, another one of the top rookie cards in the set. Kind of had a down 2020, but his 2019 proved that he's... No slouch. John Gray, another nice rookie, probably just outside of the top 10. We've got a Miguel Sano. This is going to be, um, what's this? It's an insert card, Miguel Sano. It's a nice looking card right there. Willie Mays, 1991 Topps design. And Michael Brantley is the last card right there. Brantley just signed back 
with the uh, the Astros. And, uh, pretty nice right there. I do see that these can be signed, by the way. These are the 1969 Top Super uh, autograph checklist, but uh, that one's obviously not signed. If they were signed, it would be in blue ink, and it would also say Top Certified Autograph below it. Colin McHugh. There's Jacob DeGrom with that long hair, which is now gone. Jose Abreu, Gregory Polanco. I don't know if there's something wrong with the aspect ratio of this photo or not, but that looks like that picture is like stretched out a little bit. Polanco has been a bust for the Buccos, to say the least. There's Matt Harvey, Kevin Kiermeyer, who's a free agent, and Josh Donaldson with the Blue Jays. Let's check out our next pack. Eight cards per pack. We got the goose on the back. There's A Rod, Alex Rodriguez. Nice one right there. Um, that's near the end of his career. He, I think he would only play what was it, 2016 was his last season. Well, this might might be his last card, maybe next to last card. There's a Cole Calhoun, Mark Melanson. We've got good old Bartolo Colon. A lot of you guys love him. Jung Ho Gung, who uh, had some run-ins with the law and basically just ruined his baseball career with uh, his inability to stay sober. Lost his... I guess work license and who knows what happened to Jung Ho Gung, but he did have some talent and uh, unfortunately for the Buccos and uh, Gung, he wasted it. There's a Chris Sale back with the White Sox before the trade to the Red Sox. Shelby Miller, Brandon Crawford. We've got a Carlos Cray, a 1980, what's that, 85 style design, the 2012 number one overall pick. Ted Williams, a splendid splinter right there coming out of the dugout. At Fenway, and there's Gaylord Perry, Hall of Famer Gaylord Perry. So I like these cards a lot because I haven't seen a lot of these pictures before. Great photography on here. I like archives, how they feature some of the old style players. There's I used to like Paul and O'Neill a lot. I was a big fan of the Yankees during their dynasty in the 90s and early 2000s. There's a Ken Griffey Jr. card. The kid now has a front office job in Major League Baseball as a senior advisor to the commissioner. Henry Owens was a bust of a prospect. I remember... Uh, people were kind of uh, kind of stoked on him. Look, looked like he was going to be a good pitcher, but just never really worked out. There's Chris Bryant, Kyle Seager. There's Warren Spawn, Hall of Famer. There's the Miguel Sano rookie card. So right now, out of my list of about, what did I have? Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I, I put Kent Maeda on there as well. He's probably number 11 because he's a short print. So you can't even really count him. But out of the top ten... I got four so far of the top rookies. So Cattell Marte, Miguel Sano, Corey Seager, and Luis Severino. Let's see if we can find the Trey Turner. That's next up on my list. I'd say that's the best rookie card we haven't yet found. It would be absolutely crazy if we found all ten of those. I doubt that that's going to happen, but that would uh, be pretty cool. There's Josh Hamilton, the 1999 number one overall pick. There's Clayton Kershaw and James Shields. I wonder what could have been with Josh Hamilton if he could have just stayed you know, clean with his head on straight and everything. He battled those personal demons. I, and we all saw how good he could he could be. We all saw that power on display at Yankee Stadium during that home run derby back in, what year was that, like 2008? There's a Dustin Pedroia. He just retired this past week. Carlos Perdon, we've got a 69 Super uh, Freddie Freeman. Nice one right there. Jose Bautista, good old Joey Bats, another one of my favorites from back in this time period. And Yadier Molina, who is back with the Cardinals. That's the way it should be. Yadier Molina will be a Hall of Famer someday. And also, he's going to have a statue outside of Bush Stadium um, when it's all said and done somewhere down the road for sure. There's John Smoltz, Vladimir Guerrero Sr., George Brett. We just pulled a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. crazy autograph yesterday. Make sure you check that video out if you haven't seen that one yet. I opened 41 packs. I went to the store called B&B &B Sports Cards out in uh, near Cleveland, Ohio, and I bought one of every pack. And actually, I bought this box there as well along with that case. So three days in a row of B&B uh, &B Sports Cards, um, you know, purchases here. First day I took you in, walked you around, gave you a, a video preview. You guys seem to like that video a lot. And I got to do more of those card shop videos. You guys like those, and I love doing those as well. There's a Bobby Doerr, and um, that one's going to be numbered, by the way, on the top, out of 199. There's Nolan, Nolan Arnauto in his Rockies jersey. Probably making some of you Rockies fans out there a little sick right now to see that, just being, you know, thinking about Nolan in a Cardinals uni. I know the feeling. Um, Andrew McCutcheon was the face of our franchise, and we got rid of him, and it was it, uh, it really stung for, for quite a while. 
And uh, for some fans, they just never got over it. There's Mark McGuire, Bill Mazeroski, Hall of Famer right there, Justin Bohr, Jock Peterson. And we're about due for another nice rookie. How about a an autograph? It is a Chris Benson on-card auto. Fan favorites. Now, Chris Benson was not a fan favorite in Pittsburgh. I mean, maybe he was when he was a prospect. Was, we were all thinking, wow, we've got the number one pick here, Chris Benson. He's going to come off and be an ace. I don't know, he struggled with us. Earned run averages of like high fours, low fives. Uh, didn't do too much better in New York. I mean, he was okay, serviceable, but never really became a number one type ace. Chris Benson, some of you might not even remember who the heck Chris Benson is. But uh, there we go. Pretty pretty interesting there that we pulled Benza. That's I have never really talked about him on the channel before. And I think this is the second time in two days that I've mentioned Chris Benson. This Sandy Koufax is a short print, by the way. It's going to be numbered 300. I think it's a short print. I think the last, maybe the last 10 cards, maybe not. Let me, let me double check that because I don't want to give you wrong information in case you have this Koufax. You're like, wow, that's a short print. Looks like actually it's just missed being a short print. There is a Sandy Koufax short print, but it's the 1953 design. This is the 91 design. It's the last card of the set. Would have been nice to get a short print for you there, James, but we'll keep trying. Jacoby Ellsbury is the first one right there. There's Mad Bum, Jose Canseco. We've got a Doc Gooden and a Willie McCovey 1979 numbered blue parallel out of 199. Not too shabby. Got a Cole Hamels, Craig Kimbrell with the Red Sox, and Trace Thompson rookie card is our last one. I haven't heard anything about him. He's got a famous brother who plays in the NBA, but uh, I don't know what ever happened to Trace Thompson. This George Springer looks, uh, I don't know, scared in that picture. Of course, now no longer with the Astros. Kind of interesting. We'll see what happens in that division now. I'm wondering if... I like this Reggie Jackson picture, by the way. I'm wondering if the Angels are finally going to sneak in there. I've been waiting for the Angels to get back into the playoffs since, what, were, were they in there in 2015? They got bounced out in three quick games against the Royals, I think. Mike Trout's played one postseason series in his entire Hall of Fame career, and that's a shame. So I'm rooting for the Angels to get in there this year. We'll see what happens. We got Bobby here from Bull Durham. There's the back of the card. I love the 88 top. I don't love the 88 tops design, but I love the uh, the look of this insert card. I don't know why. There's a Willie Stargell and a Lou Boudreau is the last one right there. 88 tops, probably near the bottom of. There's some really good designs in the 80s. We got a. Oh no! For a second there, I thought we had a redemption, but maybe it's going to be one of those 69 super cards. We'll see. There's a hand ram. Brooks Robinson, Robbie Alomar, and that's what it is. It's going to be an Alex Gordon. He's now retired as well. Hoyt Wilhelm throwing that crazy knuckleball. He was known for that. And John Franco. So we've got one more autograph in these last eight or so packs for James. Hope everybody's having a great Thursday. Double upload day today. With uh, We've got this preview video for you, and then we've got the case break a little bit later today. Hope you will hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already. I'd very much appreciate it. Father Son card. There's Brett Boone with his father Bob Boone. You can even put his grandfather on there as well. Ray Boone, which would be pretty interesting. We got Rod Carew back in his earlier days. Jackie Robinson. That's a nice looking card right there. Number 42. And Luke Jackson rookie card is our last one. Next pack up. We've got Bob Feller. AJ Pollock. There's a Yasiel Puig. Gio Gonzalez, Frank Thomas, the big hurt. We've got Hector Rondon, Miguel Cabrera, future Hall of Famer, and Giancarlo Stanton is our last card. So there's still one more autograph. Let's see if we can find it soon. I'm hoping we get some decent autos tonight on the live stream. We'll see. There's a Troy Tulowitzki. There's Brian Johnson. We've been in a rookie card draw. We pulled those nice four rookies and haven't found... Any other top ones? We still have to locate the Kyle Schwarber, the Aaron Nola, the Max Kepler, the Trey Turner, the Michael Conforto, all still out there, and we're running out of time to do it. So if we don't find them in this video, I bet you we find them in the live stream tonight multiple times. You'll have to tune in to see those pulled. There's good old Tony Fernandez, Juan Marichal, we have Paul Molitor. JV Justin Verlander, nice looking card right there. Kelby Tomlinson and Robin Roberts. I'll tell you what, I feel like out of these three different designs, I love the 53 design, but I feel like just for, I don't know, 
for this release, I'm really enjoying the 1991 tops design the most out of these three. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Possibly because I was 10 years old and uh, I loved the cards back then. How about a Chipper Jones 91 tops design? Of course, that's his rookie card. We'll see what the alternate Chipper Jones card looks like right there. There's Richie Schaefer. Don't even remember him. Don Sutton just recently passed away. Andres Galarraga, we've got a Jason Kipnis right there, a Johnny Bench, a Bucko right there. It's a Roberto Clemente, nice-looking card. And there's the Chipper Jones, a little bit later on in his career, but not the young kid is featured on, like the high school kid featured on the 91 Tops card where we're standing there with the number one draft pick emblem in the corner, but still a cool-looking card. Four packs left, got to find an autograph soon. I'm hoping it's going to be in one of these packs, or I'll be not very pleased. There's Max Kepler, one of the top 10 rookie cards. We'll put that with the Sano, Marte, Seeger, and Severino. There's the Grandy Man, Eric Hosmer, Glenn Perkins. They got a super of Bryce Harper. Again, that's not a real autograph. It would be in blue ink, and it would say top certified autograph issue right below it. There's Brandon Phillips and Ichiro. So we're down to three packs. Where is our autograph? Oh, come on. Uh, don't short us. Carlos Santana, there's Josh Harrison and Steven Piscotti rookie card. There's the Aaron Noah. So we can now chalk it up to six of the top ten uh, rookies from this box. I like that Calrippian Jr. card a lot. Our oldest Chapman throwing some heat there with the Yankees and Dallas Keuchel as our last card there. Two left, everybody. We've got Matt Carpenter. There's Marcus Stroman, Zach Britton, Danny Salazar. Is this going to be our autograph? No, it's Evan Gaddis, which wouldn't be a bad one. Byron Buxton. So we're down to our last pack, and uh, we only got one autograph. It's Chris Benson. So literally says on the box, if you don't remember, two on-card autographs. Well, I'll be disappointed if it's not an autograph in here. Let's see. Jim Bunning, Joe Morgan, Jorge Soler. Justin Upton, Mike Trout is a great one, and here it is. I see the fan favorites emblem. It's is it going to be an Aaron Nola? Nice, an Aaron Nola on card rookie card auto. Really, really nice right there. So I was worried that might be one of those fan favorites. Which there's some nice ones on that. Uh, I guess that is the fan favorite set. Now that I look at, there's some nice ones on that list. You got Mike Trout on that list along with uh, Bryce Harper's on there. Fernando Tati Seniors on there. I I was I saw that and pop out at me. I, I wish it was Junior, but obviously he wasn't around then. He was part of like a single A player back then. We got Sandy Koufax on that list as I read down through it. Raleigh Fingers. Um, who else do we have on there? Ichiro. Uh, Billy Wagner, who I think should be in the Hall of Fame. Al Kaline, and then you've got some guys on that list like Chris Betts and Jose Vizcaino, uh, Phil Nevin, Ron Blomberg. So there's some nice autographs. on. I'm hoping that we can find some of these big, big names tonight on the channel. So make sure you tune in for that. That'll be really interesting. That's a good one right there. Aaron Nola, 1985, on-card auto. So, James, congratulations on that one. We got Adrian Beltre and last card, Anthony Rendon. So that'll do it. Some last pack magic with the best hit of the box break. Again, thank you for watching. I hope you guys like Throwback Thursday. We open these old cards. I just pick a year, pick an old box that we've never opened on the channel and toss it back for Throwback Thursday. And I have a whole playlist of these. I'll put a link in the description to our playlist. If you'd like to see some more videos of older cards open, you can just go through that playlist, watch as many videos as you'd like. So thank you very much, everybody. I hope to see you later in the live stream and have a great rest of your Thursday. Good night, everybody.